Hello everybody, Stranger Gamer back for another match of my tournament and this is it, the final round of group games and in this clash we see Team Europe facing off against Dino Gazmania. Team Europe already out, but Gazmania still has a chance. A win for Gazmania will put him fourth for the time being. A bonus point win will put him level up, will put him in third, ahead of Stranger on her head to head. Anyway, since this is the last time we're going to see Team Europe, I'm going to go through the dinos again. So up first we have Megalosaurus. With a moveset of Defense Boost, Psychic Bind and Light Recovery. And backing up the Megalosaurus we have Camptosaurus. Revival type. Boasting a moveset of Nature's Blessing, Metal Ring and Light Recovery. Can Team Europe end their tournament on a high? Or, can, or will Dino Gasmania give themselves a glimmer of hope? Anyway, as for Gasmania, this could be the last time we see him in this tournament. So we have the Metria Camphosaurus. Blunder type, boasting a moveset of Crit Block, Burning Dash and Death Grind. Remember, Gasmania needs to win this match to climb into fourth with North America yet to play. Anyway, backing up the Metria Camphosaurus, we have Rugops. Warning type, with a moveset of Dino Stuffer, Mayfly and Death Grind. Anyway, as I was saying, Gasmania needs to win this match to go above Team North America into fourth and hope that Team North America do not win. When they face Yesa, I think they face Yesa. Ooh, so excited! It's like, ooh. We're, at the, we're at the end game now, lads. We're at the end game. And that's a good start for Gasmania. Yeah. Metric Camphosaurus getting off a death grind. Wow, Metric Camphosaurus is so much bigger than the Meg. And I think they were like similar sizes in real life. But Meg Metric Camphosaurus is like so much bigger. Ooh, a support effect from the Rugops. A promising start for Gasmania. Oh, bit of a tie. Oh, but the support effect! Enabling the Metria Camphosaurus to get off the hit! Well, Gasmania's coming out swinging, and I think this is Megalosaurus out? Should be. Yeah. <laughs> Will Team Europe actually get a hit? I think that might be a glitch. Because that was crit block. And obviously Megalosaurus's mo crit mo Megalosaurus's critical move is scissors. But Camptosaurus's is paper. Oh, I might have just found a bug there. Anyway, back to the match. And Team Europe gets the their first hit of the match off. And the Nature's Blessing fully restoring the Camptosaurus's health. Yeah, it just, it just hasn't quite happened for Team Europe. Although, they did claim a big win over Stranger. <laughs> That's something these two teams have in common. Oh, we have another tie. Well, it looks like it could be a bonus point win for Gasmania. I think it's going to be, because it's a burning dash and this should take out the Camptosaurus. Well, Team Europe going out with a whimper. Yep. <laughs> well, that's Team Europe done. And a bonus point win for Gasmania keeps his top four hopes alive as he climbs to third at the minute. But remember, all that can change. Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another match of Pool A. And in this clash we see the host Stranger Gamer facing off against the evil Tor. <laughs> Tor already through to the last 16, a bonus point win will ensure that they top Pool A. 
Any form of points for the hosts will guarantee their place in the last 16. But the feet could leave it out so out of their control. Anyway, up first for Stranger we have the Pachycephalosaurus, revival type, with a moveset of Tupu Dive, Recovery and Laser Ray. And backing up the Pachycephalosaurus, the MVP of the team, we have the Mega Raptor, lethal type, with a moveset of Jet Shuriken, Mayfly and Technique Boost. Slumped to a disappointing defeat last round against Team Europe, can Stranger bounce back? Although it's going to be tough, because in the blue corner for Tor, we have the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Which played a role in Stranger's defeat during Ultimate's tournament. A defeat that I'm going to rectify. Anyway, moves up, Dinos up, a Volk Burst and Flare Sword. Yes. I think this is the day for the revenge for Stranger. Can he get revenge for that tournament defeat? Anyway, backing up the Acro, we have Stegosaurus, tie recovery type. With a moveset of Earth. Barrier Tag Team and Struffio Rush. It doesn't matter what happens here for Tor, Tor is already guaranteed a last 16 place. But a bonus point win will guarantee will guarantee that they top pool A. Oh here we go. Well <laughs> can Stranger get some revenge? Oh, we have a tie! Ooh, the Acro gets off the first hit! <laughs> I think the Pachycephalosaurus is going to die right away again. Oh, it's Flare Sword. That's not good. Uh. Ooh, it's a tie! Oh, this is not good for Stranger! A very good start for the Acro, though. Oh, come on! He took it out! <laughs> he poisoned it! Uh-oh. Finally I get a hit. <laughs> Pachycephalosaurus just being the cannon fodder like always. Oh my god, look at the damage, that's pathetic. Okay, I need a Mayfly. I need a Mayfly stack. <laughs> I think the tie's gonna do more damage. Oh, oh, get another hit, get another hit. Oh, come on, man. Boosting your technique up. Ah, come on. Come on, be rock. Oh, bad. It's a tie. <laughs> I'm not biased in any way. Oh, my God. The Akko gets the swap, and he gets the hit, and he's going to do an arse ton of damage. And he gets Volcano Burst, even though his technique is, like, minuscule. This could make things interesting. As the Mega Raptor gets off the Mayfly. Oh, damage! <laughs> this steg lasted two seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, and the Jet Shuriken to take it out. And I'll get a hit off the Acro. This <laughs> stay glass for about two seconds. There, he got walled into mincemeat. Well, now all of a sudden, that Mayfly has completely changed this match. Well, unless he gets the crit. And he gets a crit, so it's over. <laughs> Maybe defeat the stranger, but he does get a losing bonus point. 
which will take him through to the last 16. So, a good match. Didn't get the result, but I got the point I needed, so I'm happy. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Hello everybody, Strange Gamer back for another match of my tournament and, and this is the big clash for Pool A as we have Team North America facing off against Yase. Yase already out of already out of the group stage, cannot qualify for the last 16, but let's see if they can end their tournament on a high. As for Team North America, everything at stake for them. Hey, more on that shortly. Up first for Team North America, we have Allosaurus Atrox. We've seen what this beast can do. With a moveset of Biting Wind, Attack Boost, and Kamikaze Tackle. And backing up at Trox, we have Super Creephosaurus. With a moveset of Final Fury, Super Impact, and Big Foot Assault. Anyway, it's win or bust for Team North America. A win takes them through. A win will guarantee them a fourth place finish, and eliminate Team Eoraptor and Dino Gasmania in the same time. Defeat will see their top four hopes end. Defeat here will knock Team North America out. Anyway, as for Yase, in the blue corner, we have Brachylophosaurus. With a moveset of Tupertoon Crush, Green Impulse and Dino Force. Not holding out much hope for this guy against Atrox. I mean, if Atrox gets Brighton went off, he's going to one-shot it. <laughs> he could be mince meat it. Anyway, backing up the Brachylophosaurus, we have Super Titanosaurus, the muscle of the team. With a moveset of Hydro Cutter, Aqua Javelin, and Ocean Panic. Can Yase finish their tournament on a high? And at the same time, end Team North America's hopes of a top 4 finish. This just hasn't quite happened for Yase this tournament. As for Team North America, it's been no 50 50 for Team North America. Oh, that's not a good. That's a good start for North America, but not a good start for Yase. Oh, we have a tie. Ooh, it's going to be Dino Force. Right, let's see if I can do this this time. I am. I need to concentrate. Okay, got that bit. <laughs> uh, paper, scissors, take that. This. Okay, that was pretty easy. This should do a decent amount of damage, actually, even with a tight disadvantage. Well, we get to see Dino Force for the first time this tournament. I think. No, a second, second. Although the first time was unsuccessful, that time wasn't. Big hit from Yase. And as long as he doesn't, and as long as our biting wind doesn't activate, the Brachylophosaurus is in it. Ooh, it's going to be Dino Force again. I think this will be Atrox out, as long as I do it right. Well, well, well. I didn't see that coming. The show's done it that Atrox without his crit is nothing, really. Uh, paper, what? Scissors, scissors? Where did you get this? Well, you don't see this move the entire tournament and now it activates twice in a row. That's RNG for you folks. But Yase definitely going out with a fight. Taking out Allosaurus Atrox. Okay, no Dino Force this time. As a Creephosaurus gets off the head. That's twice. Oh, it's going to be Dino Force again. <laughs> Boosh. And what paper?
Oh, damn it, I could rock. Oh, well, I'm still gonna deal a decent amount of damage. And it's awakening time for the Creefosaurus. It's gonna be just what Team North America needs to get back on track. Come in handy. Wow, oh, coming very handy as the Raptors come in for final fury. That's twice. Yeah, that's twice. Team North America hanging on here. Oh, I think I might do it! Oh. Hanging on by a thread! Oh, I get a diet, I click swap. <laughs> oh, what a match this has been! Well, the Brachula for Source is going down, denying Yeezy a possible bonus point win. It all comes down to this. And it's awakening time for the Titanosaurus. Oh. Here we go. Oh, that's it! That's Team North America right. And Yase claims a win and goes out on a high. Well played, sir. But, Team North America, your tournament's ended. And Team North America are knocked out. And at the minute, it's Dino Gasmania that's going through. Hello, everybody. Stranger Gamer back for the final match of Pool A. And this is the big one. I know I said the last one was a big one, but because of that result, this is the big one, as we have Dino Tanker facing off against Team Eoraptor. A win for Team... Only a win for Team Eoraptor will do. Tanker already guaranteed a place in the last 16. But it's win or bust for Team Eoraptor. If Eoraptor wins this match, Eorap Team Eoraptor goes through. And, and Dino Gasmania gets knocked out. But if Team Eoraptor... If Dino Tanker wins this match... Then Dino Gasmania will go through and Team Eoraptor will be eliminated. Ooh, it's all come down to this. A bonus point, but there's something at stake for Tanker as well. A bonus point win for Tanker will gap will ensure that well, they will top pool A if they get a bonus point win. Anyway. Oh, that's about to go through the dinos. Um you know Tanker's dinos, you don't need me to go through them, and we're going to see him in the last 16, so there. Anyway, as for Team Eoraptor, since it could, this could be his last match of the tournament, we have Eoraptor, what would it transform into? I'm going to say Sorofagonax. Psychic, baby! Oh, I don't, and it hasn't transformed to Sorofagonax this whole tournament. Anyway, a moveset of, I'm assuming that's Heat Eruption, Recovery, and Firebomb. And backing up the Eoraptor, we have Sejuangosaurus. Revival type. With a moveset of, Biting Wind, Dino Swing, and Tiebreaker. This is win or bust for Team Eoraptor. They have to win this match to get through to the last 16. Can it be done? Well, it can be done, but... Will it be done? Dino Tanker probably being the most dangerous opponent in Pool A. The most impressive as well. Oh, the Sword Fagonax! The Eoraptor gets off the Heat Eruption. Yeah, the Eoraptor's pretty much going to get Heat Eruption every time if it's, it's a tie because his technique is through the charm, through the roof. Which is not good for Tanker. And the blunder type effect from Eoraptor as well, nullifying that rock move. Oh, 
but your actor is frail and doesn't have a lot of health. Wow, I did no damage at all. I know that your raptor has a type advantage over all the other elements, but... Oh, this might be your raptor dead. It's a burning dash. Anyway, as I say, I know your raptor has a type advantage over the fire types, but... It still has a f very low amount of health. This might even take it out. That's the Eoraptor out. And that could even be game over. Which says Rongosaurus having the tight disadvantage against this ter against Terry Dino Tector. I think this could be game over for Team Eoraptor. Especially if this T-Rex gets the crit. Which it does. <laughs> and the support effect from Gone Wanna Titan. Fighting wind? You're after not going down yet. Oh, that's a bit that was weird. Oh, it's Dino Tactic time. Hang on. Well, it doesn't matter, really, because all Terry needs is to get a head off and it kills Szechuan. But I think we're going to see Ultimate Fire again. Yep, that's game over, and that's Team Eoraptor eliminated, and Dino Gasmania will be going through. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't fancy Eoraptor's odds in this match, to be honest. And also, a bonus point win for Tenka means that Dino Tenka will top Pool A. And I'm not surprised, to be honest. Because as I said, Tenka's probably been the most dangerous opponent in Pool A. Anyway, here's the final table for Pool A. We have Dino Tenka topping Pool A in first. With 19 points, 5 wins, 2 defeats and 4 bonus points. Very impressive displays. And then in second, with same stats except for one less bonus point, we have Tor, who is also impressed in Pool A, with 18 points. And in third place, we have myself, with four wins, three defeats, three bonus points, and 15 points. You know, I'm just thinking those two losing bonus points, how massive those were. Because if I didn't get them, I'd be on 13 points. Actually, now that I think about it, it'd be on 13 points, I still go through on a head-to-head. -head, because I defeated Team North America. But it goes to show how crucial those three bonus points were for me. Anyway. And then just snatching top four, we have Dino Gasmania. Same win-loss as myself, but two bonus points. And then we have these four who are out. Team North America, Team Eoraptor, Team Europe, and Yeser. Although it was close, these two had a chance, but it just didn't quite happen. Oh, hang on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this match. And we'll be seeing these four in the last 16.